go ahead and get started here. On the front of the box it says TP-Link, expand your Wi-Fi network. On the side here it shows a nice picture of the smart signal indicator. On the back you can see typical locations where it's suggested to be put um, in your home. And then on this side it says basically N300, 24-7 support. And then on the bottom we've got the serial model number. And on the top it says two year warranty by the way as well as TP. Let's go ahead and get started by opening up the box here And I have just grabbed my favorite pocket knife and let me go ahead and do this quickly I'm going to speed up the video so that we don't waste too much time taking the plastic um, wrapping off of the box itself and once um, that's done, we'll toss that paper, or that plastic rather, over to the side and uh, go ahead and open up the box. It slides up and then we have access to what's inside. And the packaging is very impressive, um, rather, in a nice little wrap there. I'm impressed. Useless, but I'm impressed. And then we got Get Stronger Wi-Fi where you want it. Um, and then on the back, it gives you some um, additional PR information. Okay. All right. The um, Wi-Fi extender itself is nicely packaged. There is a lot to be said about protecting um, electronic components when boxing things up. And I do like that. Okay. Let's go ahead and take this uh, plastic wrap off of the Wi-Fi extender so that we can take a nice look here. Close up look rather. Do you get the power light and then about 20 to 30 seconds later you'll get a wireless light um, that gets lit open up an internet browser and we can go ahead and right click on our Wi-Fi icon and once we do you can see that I'm presently connected to P router TP link repeater dot net if yours does not go to that um, address or that link rather and once you're there, it'll prompt you for a user ID and password. Now this is the default user ID and password for the TP link, which is admin. And you can go ahead and click on login. And that takes you to the next page where you are prompted to create a new user ID or user name and password. username and I'll create a new and different uh, password here and it's smart to make it at least eight characters and then confirm and click on confirm and then it goes and scans um, for all available Wi-Fi networks that are near me and then it can, if you leave it blank it does not want to move forward so you have to type in the Wi-Fi uh, password for your network and then it turns around and gives you an opportunity to change the name of the extender from the default of in my case PP router underscore EXT and I'm changing it to Ocean 11 you can change it to any name you like or take the default name and uh, keep in mind that the extender's uh, 2.4 gigahertz password is the same as your host password or the password that you use to uh, make a connection on your Wi-Fi network. And then click on next to move forward and you get this uh, diagram that shows you um, your primary router name and uh, password and the range extenders uh, SSID name and password and then you can go ahead and click on save and then it will go ahead and save all those settings that we just made to the um, TP link see that um, it's done and I can click on finish and as you can see I do have internet access Google came right up all right um, that's the end of this video except uh, let me show you how the, um, the device on the wall looks all lights